Welcome to Shirley English Grammar Time. We appreciate the opportunity to show you how our curriculum teaches students to analyze the role each word plays in a sentence. We call this process the question and answer flow. Come along and let me show you how it's done. It's important to note that the question and answer flow is just one of the unique features of Shirley English. When students learn how to connect all of the features, they can successfully make the connection between grammar, skills, writing, and reading. This unique feature is our way of teaching oral classification skills, which will help students gain a deeper understanding of how words work together to build sentences. In a lesson, grammar time comes just after jingle time. You see, jingles provide important information, including questions associated with each part of speech. Grammar lessons go on to show students how to apply that information using an oral classification process known as the question and answer flow. The Q&A flow teaches students to read critically as they orally classify sentences by asking questions associated with each part of speech. Jingles and the question and answer flow go hand in hand. In Shirley English, scaffolding is a built-in process. The logical order of operations provided by the question and answer flow teaches students to read the sentence being analyzed and then follow four easy steps. They will learn to ask the question, and when the answer is determined, they will name the word, identify its job, and label it correctly. Allow me to demonstrate. The three plump geese honked noisily nearby today. What honked noisily nearby today? Geese, subject noun. What is being said about geese? Geese honked, verb. Honked how? Noisily, adverb. Honked where? Nearby, adverb. Honked when? Today, adverb. What kind of geese? Plump, adjective. How many geese? Three, adjective. The article adjective. Now let's take a closer look at the order of operations using the question and answer flow. Always begin by reading the complete sentence. Then, use the four easy steps to identify and label the core parts of the sentence first, as demonstrated in steps one and two. After identifying the core parts of the sentence, continue moving forward using the same process, as seen in steps three through five of the question and answer flow. Then begin labeling any unlabeled words as they appear in reverse order using the four-step process as seen in steps six through eight. Finally, students will learn to label the pattern of the sentence and identify other English skills as demonstrated in step nine. The teacher's manual contains the question and answer flows completely scripted for every sentence that students will classify during the year. At the bottom of the page, the sentences will appear labeled and classified. The question and answer flow must always remain consistent throughout the grade levels. The question and answer flow provides students with a foundation for writing. Learning to identify and label the parts of a sentence leads to understanding complete sentence structure. When a student can build a good sentence, they can easily learn how to organize sentences into paragraphs and essays. Scaffolding is a built-in process in our curriculum. As you can see, the question and answer flow is a unique way to teach your students about sentence structure in a very logical way. Learning these concepts is just one of the ways our curriculum strives to help you teach your students to make the English language arts connection. The following video will give you a glimpse into Shirley English classrooms across the country during grammar time so that you can witness the question and answer flow in action. Enjoy! Several children are waiting patiently for the popcorn man. Who are waiting patiently for the popcorn man? Children, subject now. What is being said about children? Children are waiting. Verb. Blue. How high? Adverb. How high? Very. Adverb. Blue. When? Yesterday. Adverb. What kind of eagles? Large. Adjective. Subject now. Verb transitive check again. 
with Onward for Apple, prepositional phrase. Beside your house, prepositional phrase. Question mark, question, interrogative sentence. If you would like more information about Shirley English, please contact a customer service representative at our corporate office. The telephone number is 1-800-566-2966. You may also find more information on our website, which is www.shirley.com.